What's driving markets? Welcome to Market Take. Each week, we'll bring you our insights on the latest market and economic trends that are impacting investments. I'm your host, Michel Dilmanian, portfolio strategist at the BlackRock Investment Institute. This week, we explain how gyrations in fixed income markets reinforce our preferences. Rising yields for U.S. short-term treasuries and tightening credit spreads are two recent market swings that reinforce our fixed income views. We had leaned against markets pricing in sharp interest rate cuts by the Federal Reserve. Markets have since priced out some rate cuts as solid economic data has quelled recession fears. That has driven short-dated bond yields sharply higher. Markets are now closer to our U.S. policy expectations, yet we think more cuts could be priced out. This supports our underweight to short-dated U.S. treasuries. We think inflation will keep the Fed from cutting as much as markets expect. A persistently large U.S. fiscal deficit and big structural forces will push up on inflation, in our view. Higher inflation is why we've been expecting investors to demand more compensation for the risk of holding longer-dated bonds. We see that starting to play out. Yet we stay neutral longer-dated U.S. Treasuries in the near term, as yields can swing in either direction. After an initial dip, U.K. yields rose alongside global yields last week. Yet we think gilt yields can fall further relative to other major government bond yields. A tough growth outlook means the Bank of England could cut rates more than the Fed. We also think euro-area investment grade and high-yield credit better compensate investors for risk than their U.S. counterparts. Here's our market take. We favor European credit over U.S. credit. In the U.S., we prefer medium-term bonds for attractive income with less sensitivity to interest rate swings. We recently went overweight UK gilts. We watch for any impacts from this week's UK budget announcement. For details, read our weekly market commentary. Go to www.blackrock.com slash weekly dash commentary. Thank you for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Market Take wherever you get your podcasts. This material is intended for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice, a recommendation or an offer or solicitation to purchase or sell any securities, funds or strategies to any person in any jurisdiction in which an offer, solicitation, purchase or sale would be unlawful under the securities laws of such jurisdiction. The opinions expressed are as of the date of publication and are subject to change without notice. Reliance upon information in this material is at the sole discretion of the listener. Investing involves risks. BlackRock does and may seek to do business with companies covered in this podcast. As a result, listeners should be aware that the firm may have a conflict of interest that could affect the objectivity of this podcast. For more information, visit blackrock.com.